Does everybody know what a landmine is? They bury bombs right under the surface of the earth so when you step on them or drive over them, they blow you up. Now suppose this area over here is filled with landmines. This is my life on earth. And this is the end of my life. And this determines whether I go to heaven or hell. Whether I go into the kingdom of God or I've made a destruction out of my life. Now Jesus knows where everything is. He's the way. I said he's the way. Now the Lord says, follow me. I'm not only the way, I'm the truth and I'm the life. If you follow me, John 8, 12, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Now the Lord Jesus said, now walk this way. Don't step over there. Don't go into gender dysphoria. Don't go into chasing money. Don't go into self-reliance. Don't go in to make your life all about the American dream. Go right here. Blessed are those who obey the commandments of God. The psalmist writes, your word has made me wiser than the ancients. Your word has made me wiser than my teachers. Why? Because God's wiser than your teachers. Then the Lord says, now step over here. Don't lie on your income tax return. It's not funny. Be honest when you sell your car. Now step over here. Don't sleep with people you're not married to. Now follow me here. Honor your mother and father. He has the first commandment with a promise attached. So your life, you'll live a long life and it'll go well with you. Now follow me over here. And when you're over here, you go, I've had a good life. I've had a good life. I'm in the kingdom. I didn't get all blown up. But then we have people over here. We're like, eh, I don't believe that stuff. I really want to sleep with that person. I really want to do this. If, I, if I'm honest, I'll have to pay a lot of taxes. I'm just going to do this. Bam! See, now it doesn't always happen right away. It takes time. Yeah. They that sow to the flesh reap corruption. Here's what God said. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he'll reap. If you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. If you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap life. So, so we, all of us have sinned. All of us have made mistakes. We've all stepped on landmines. But that's what repentance is about. We could step on a few. Our heart gets broken in pieces. We're like, oh, this didn't work out so good. God's waiting. He's waiting for you to say, I think I want to follow you now. Yes, 